Okay, so uh, this is a, a much shorter video than the last one. Um, based on example um, 9.3.1, uh, which focuses on heating degree days, I just wanted to chat a bit about heating degree days, do one simple calculation, and, and sort of talk about some of the meaning behind it. Um, so in this example, um, we're given a um, uh, base temperature of uh, 18 degrees Celsius, and we're in Madison, Wisconsin. An example um, goes into much more detail on calculating um, heating degree days for different months. Um, but at the real basic level, um, we're going to calculate just December's here. Um, um, heating degree days are calculated simply by the number of days in the month um, and the base temperature and the month's um, ambient average temperature. So T ambient bar, just T average for the month. Um, so for December, um, there's 31 days in the month. Uh, the base temperature is 18, and um, this is given um, a negative 5. It's pretty cold in Wisconsin. Um, and so what we end up with is 31 times 23.3, um, which is 722 heating degree days. Um, and so uh, this is a pretty high number. And uh, again, I just want to chat a bit about what this kind of means um, and why it's important. And um, essentially, this number is, um, it gives you an idea for how often you are far away from the, a, a reasonable temperature for your indoor space. So, um, if it's really cold, then you'll get a high number, and that means you need to be heating a lot. Um, whereas if your ambient temperature is close in temperature, um, if T ambient, say, was 18 degrees right here, if this was 18, you would get zero, and so you'd have zero. Um, you would end up with zero degree days. So you know that means that you don't need any heating that month if your month's average temperature was 18 degrees Celsius. So... Um, that's that's really the essence of what heating degree days are. And then in, in the um, summer months when you need cooling, it goes the other way around where then you would end up with some degree days if you were in a location that required cooling and they'd be cooling degree days. So if your T ambient was very hot, then you would end up with a different um, number there as well. So again, that, that these numbers are used essentially to calculate overall heating and cooling loads. Um, and how much a specific location would need in light of the ambient temperature. Um, all right, thanks for listening.